Yes, I forgot about the Kubrick. I'm not going to say that word. Yes, the Japanese He's, major. Yeah, the Japanese major with almost like the Japanese like top ten in attendance with there with Solosaur, but Zachary's not here right now. We got we our boy American Steven. Zachary. Yeah, <laughs> got our boy Steven. And crazy enough, Sora can live this. Can live this. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Good, great, great save. That's that's some commentary one on one guy. <laughs> But yeah, being one of the more floatier characters is actually kind of susceptible to some of Pichu stuff. But what's the big part right here is how good Sora is actually able to rack up damage with his nares and fares. Because he just has an auto combo that just does it for you if you get a one hit. Yeah, I feel like Pichu, one of their strengths is they're tough to hit. But I feel like Sora's got really big, floaty, long-lasting hitboxes. Yeah. You can kind of play around that uh, that strength of Pichu. And also, Sora has kill confirms that for normal characters can kill at like 90. For Pichu, you can probably kill at like 70. And that's yeah. oh, smash you, you think obliterating. 70? Yeah, probably, <laughs> probably right like 50, 40. <laughs> Tad bit rage, maybe at zero. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, down smash going to take it right there. Sora light himself too, though. Getting down smashed. And wow, it totally just eats that Thunder Jolt when you yeah. fair one. And then you're still in the air. It can press more stuff. That's really good in this matchup. Yeah, that's kind of the why I might play a bit of Sora now. Yeah. I, I've always liked Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know? I'm Don't a huge you know fan. That. I love the Heartless. <laughs> Roxas? <laughs> Should have been in the game. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Okay. And that's actually a really good mix up. Though it has a bit of lag, a lot of people are still wary of like doing the third one. So good, good like form of respect there that you just instill on an opponent. Yeah, it's tough to just like react to how much they do because Sora kind of slides really far from yeah. it. So you kind of have to read if they're doing two or three. And I feel like most people just opt to hold shield the whole time yeah. because they're too scared to get hit by the third one. So, yeah, because yeah. that move is actually like it gets lagging and lagging if each one you do. Okay, up air gonna take it right there. You should not challenge Sora in the air like that. But yeah, the move gets lagging and laggier each time. Like the first one's like minus 19, the second one's like 30 or like 20 something, and the third one's like 39. Yeah, it's it can. So I feel like most people are gonna opt to cancel on the second one. Right here now, this is like the first time you're getting a nice combo. Oh, oh. Just, yeah, just catching the roll. Never mind. <laughs> uh, but still, 46% lead that might go away right here. Yeah, no. Combo monster. <laughs> 76? That was insane. This this Peachy's no joke. Yeah, no. Soon guy, some guy. Oh, it might be some guy. Some guy. Some guy. That's some guy over there. <laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> yeah. All crazy enough, like at the lights right now, if the reversal were to happen, Source counter can't kill. Yeah. One thing though is uh, Peachy's a B does not have a hitbox on it, so um, yeah, you actually don't have to worry about that when it comes to the up B, which is nice because it does stop Pikachu. It's yeah. like the only counter that can stop Pikachu. That's real deal, so pure punch, guys. <laughs> Ooh, good gift yeah. attack. That's one of the best gift attacks in the game. It, like, Is it? Goes like, look, I, mean, I don't know exactly, but. Oh, looks dash like back F smash. Bowser length get up attack, yeah. and that has a Bowser length F smash right there. Anti airing Pichu. It's got a really good upwards yeah. hitbox. And yeah, great stuff from Steven. Clutch it out. It could be like scary having a lead, and then like he took that 76% yeah. combo, but he didn't really um, become nervous after that. He still kept the game yeah. going. He's like, yo, I'm going to just do what I can do. Playing a new character, it kind of does that. It feels like it relieves some pressure. It's like, yo, mm -hmm. I'm not going my true main. Even though he's, like, probably going to pick up Sora from now on. But I'm not, like... These weeks are supposed to be, like, the bad weeks. Yeah. And they're not looking like it, honestly. Yeah. So it, it could, <laughs> which is scary. Yeah, which could only go uphill. <laughs> yeah, if we have uh, Zachary winning majors... Um, DeBuzz doing really good with this character. It's in this. This is a future. This is a matchup you're gonna have to learn. Yeah. This is the moral of the story. Three, two, one, Why does Pichu go! every time they come in sound like they're in panic? Pichu. All right, already starting off. I mean, the thing is, off stage, it just even if, even we saw last game got spiked and just made it back from the depths of hell with no jump. Yeah, it, no. It's crazy. That's where Sora came from. Hell itself. <laughs> Our Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> and look at that. That back air just totally slices through the Thunder Jolt. Gets rid of it entirely. Yeah. Okay. C catching him right there. Oh, go. Thunder Jolt's going through the blizzard. Just allowing for some guy to be really safe right there. Yeah, and we've seen Steven really 
kind of not use projectiles at all, and I think it makes sense. Well, right there. But um, I think it makes sense because Pichu is not really giving you the time and space to projectile. Um, so, and especially with Sora's, they're pretty slow, at least the Thundaga especially. Yeah. So I, I like Steven. He's really just there. He can use it, but like he's not relying on the projectile game too much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, only a jab punish. Yeah, I do not think that's what they wanted. It might have been like a misinput F smash oh, or something. Oh, tried to get something fancy, a noop, most likely. Okay. Yeah, just let him back. And we're just seeing a lot more like respect from the neutral game. Both players don't want to be the first one to like lose the lead right here. Yeah, they can both so easily kill each other right yeah. now that like it's just terrifying to press anything uh, forward. Yeah, and Dare being the one that take it right there, catching the neutral get up, and we're gonna see a Pichu combo. Percent don't matter at this point. Pichu could die from anything, so I'll I'll spam anything. And oh. Uppy gonna take it right there. Yeah, exploding Pichu right there. But it, honestly, this 53 or this um, 35 or 33, sorry, <laughs> this thir that 33 was nice. Now into 52. Now into 67. Steven finally breaking out with that fair one, two, three. Yeah. And oh, some guy just—he's he, not looking like some guy. He's looking like the guy right now. I wonder how many times someone uh, said that. I, <laughs> actually, I, I, I actually want to know. <laughs> I, I want to count it. <laughs> Oh, that's, yeah. that is tragic. The bounce animation making it so Sora went above uh, yeah. Pichu's jab, not getting the jab lock. That would have been the stock, I think. It, it would have. Okay, down smash not going to hit right there. Okay, a bit more camping. And yeah, back here going to take right there. That back here, really good for Sora. Yeah, and I feel like Steven usually like did like double jump aerials in that spot right there, but he instead just kind of stayed still with Sora and then did the landing back air, and yeah. I don't think some guy was ready for that because I feel like most Soras would opt to do rising back air right there. Yeah. And that's probably what um, they were waiting for. Got up attack? Yeah. And what's great about Thundaga is actually there's not a lot of end lag. You saw like how quickly he was just able to show. Yeah, it looks like it has a lot more than it actually does yeah. for sure. Okay, yeah, space back here. <laughs> and that's gonna start killing pretty soon now. Yeah, I'll probably from at the edge of the stage it will kill right now, but I spoke too soon. <laughs> Someone else is back here killed. <laughs> yeah, no more rage on deck. Ooh. That ice is a, it's such a, like Sora now is like a meta relevant character who can consistently freeze people. Yeah. So I wonder if people are going to start learning how to deal with like being frozen. Cause I honestly still don't know quite what the mechanics of ice are. It's even crazy. Uh, you just mash out, but yeah, yeah. um, it's kind of crazy cause his is like the best ice move. Cause uh, most of the other ice moves you need multi freeze to like hit while his is just one single hit. Yeah. It's really, it's really good. It's, it's it's such like a unique spot to be in being frozen in the ice. Oh, just caught the dash and that's yeah. it. And you know that looks a lot uh, more risky than it actually is because if you whiff that, you can just side B. Then they have to read left or right. Then yeah. they have to read where you do the side B after. It's tough to punish it. You know, it looks a lot more possible than it is. But yeah. and that just looks so smart. It's like yo, I'm just gonna do like a semi punish. What you think is a punishable move, and you're just gonna get hit like. Space and back airs right here and just upbeat. Yeah, that was a good call. Like, it's kind of reading um, some guy running on the shield, you know, not even reading like a. Maybe also try. He was probably thinking he was going to get grabbed, so yeah. he did preemptively, but um, just definitely showed knowledge of what some guy was going to do. Like, that was a confident yeah. upbeat.